Welcome, Welcome to, to Wines, Wines and Lines, where we drink wine and read lines. I'm Effie, I'm an actor. And I'm Chelsea, and I'm a writer. And basically what we want to do with this is something that we've been doing for a while, which is from our different perspectives, we take a screenplay and we read it out together with wine and we go over tone, character, pacing, um, and it's been really helpful So for both of us. So yeah, yeah. Uh, with that, yamas, salute, cheers, and please enjoy. The first scenes from the Netflix show Glow. And uh, we are with the main character Ruth in the bathroom. With her casting director Mallory in the stalls. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mallory. It's Ruth Wilder. I was hoping to get some feedback on my audition. Have you been hiding in here for two hours? You know that I wait until the end of the casting session to pee, out of respect to the actors. If you want feedback, call your agent. I don't have an agent. Turns out if you don't work for two years, people stop caring about you. I do have an answering machine. Still, this is extremely unprofessional. You call me in a lot. Then you never cast me. If there's something I need to change, I want to change it. Every director says, get me someone I don't know, someone I haven't seen. I want a girl who's real. I bring you in so they can see that they don't actually want the thing they think they want. What I think, if it were 1940, you'd work. But it's 1985. Everybody wants Jane Fonda or Jamie Lee Sir Curtis. Okay. Well, do you have... Any advice besides going back in time? Maybe you need to broaden your scope. I cast some experimental projects on the side if you're open to that kind of thing. What kind of thing? Would you consider doing erotica? Porn? Obviously I'm not suggesting you go have sex on camera unless that's something you're interested in. What I'm interested in are real parts, not secretaries telling powerful men their wives are online, too. You read the man's part on purpose, didn't you? It's the better part. Hey, Mallory. <laughs> it's Ruth Wilder. I was hoping to get some feedback on my edition. Have you been hiding in here for two hours? Yes. You know that I wait until the end of a casting section session to pee. Out of respect to the actors, if you want feedback, call your agent. Um, I uh, don't have an agent. <laughs> Turns out if you don't work for two years, people stop caring about you. I do have an answering machine. Still, this is extremely unprofessional. You call me in a lot and you never cast me. If there's something I need to change, I want to change it. Every director says, get me someone I don't know. Someone I haven't seen. I want a girl who's real. I bring you in so that they can see that they don't actually want the thing they think they want. What I think, if it was 1940, you'd work. But it's 1985. Everyone wants Jane Fonda or Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. Uh, well, do you have any advice besides going back in time? Maybe you need to broaden your scope. I cast some experimental projects on the side. If you're open to that kind of thing. What kind of thing? Would you consider doing erotica? Porn? Obviously, I'm not suggesting you go have sex on camera unless that's something you're interested in. What I'm interested in are real parts, not secretary telling powerful men their wives are online too. You read the man's part on purpose, didn't you? It's the better part. 
today's Wines and Lines, we enjoyed a Mendiarte Tempranillo from Spain, purchased at Trader Joe's.